Angela lost her job last summer, but she's starting a new one soon. To begin the new year right, Angela and her two girlfriends have begun an exercise program. This morning is their first run. Angela had some indigestion last night, but she feels fine as they jog off at a leisurely pace. About halfway into the run, Angela's friends increase speed. She tries to keep up, but this causes a sharp pain in her side. Also, her indigestion has returned. Figuring she's just out of shape, Angela decides to push on. She completes the run with her friends, but is short of breath and lightheaded when they finish. Her heart is pounding and she has a headache. When she gets home, Angela can't seem to catch her breath. Her husband, William, asks if she's okay, but Angela doesn't respond right away. Sensing that something might be wrong, William calls 911. Angela lies down, but that makes her nauseated and dizzy. She struggles to sit up. Her skin is cold and clammy, and her lower jaw aches. She says she might faint. The emergency medical technicians arrive at 9.25 a.m. and begin their first responder intervention. One EMT talks with Angela and her husband, William, to learn what happened. The second EMT takes Angela's vital signs and begins to monitor her heart with an EKG. Angela seems to have settled a little, but she throws up while her vitals are being taken. The EMTs wait to make sure she's stable and then prepare Angela for transport to the emergency room. William rides along with her in the ambulance. They arrive at the hospital at 9.45 a.m. An emergency room registered nurse measures Angela's vital signs, places oxygen tubes in her nostrils, clips a pulse oximeter to Angela's finger, and inserts an IV line. Angela's sample information is recorded, and the admitting clerk obtains additional information from William. An electrocardiograph technician hooks up the EKG leads, and the EKG reading is complete at 10 a.m. A printout is placed in Angela's chart. All of this should start sounding familiar by now. I hope you're taking notes. The emergency room physician asks Angela how she's doing. Angela reports a headache and nausea. Almost on cue, she vomits again. The physician reviews the notes taken by the EMTs and the ERRN, including Angela's vital signs. She also checks Angela's EKG recording and the EKG monitor. The physician orders blood tests, including a pregnancy test, which is routine for women who may be exposed to x-rays. At 10.15 a.m., a phlebotomist arrives to collect Angela's blood samples. Here are Angela's vital signs. 